What's going on? What's going on? Gabrius here, bringing you another Taking Down a Town All 10 video. For today's topic, we have number 19 from our latest war in the CWL finals One High versus Dark Looters. And up first, we have a Town Hall 9 Scout, Fretzy Final. Starting with um, a Wizard down here for a funnel and then the automatic easy uh, one star. Because uh, with this war, you want to try to get as much information as possible. Uh, for the next attacker, while also being as, as, as effective and efficient as possible but for your clan and the war effort, taking away some pressure of the next attempt coming through, um, so getting that double as well. So a lot of percentage on the outsides here, just trying to get as much, I'll, I'll back out so we can appreciate everything, just trying to get as much percentage as possible, while, as well as trying to figure out some uh, air troops and traps and things like air targeting. Um, uh, items such as Teslas and things like that, making sure there's no troll items or anything around the end. So he starts his um, walk down here. It's a little bit slow developing, and I don't want the video to be too long, so I'll go to times two. Starts to walk. Really good idea. And the goal of this is to really see the troop behavior to see which way they're going to walk if you clear out the funnels the right way. Pops the ability, which walks walks into a rage, but unfortunately, uh, the, even a raged healer cannot heal uh, back up a queen if she's under a single target, a uh, single stream of a multi infernal tar uh, multi targeting infernal. But nevertheless, you can see that the walk does work for the next town hall ten coming in, and then he starts his lala portion of this uh, just to basically ensure that you can get as much information as possible. Really, not trying to do much more as the fifty percent is already guaranteed at this point, but really just more so trying to get as much information as possible so we get to see where the skeletons are set to air, where they're located at, where the black sams are, and things such as things of that nature. So. As, as expected, you got um, all the skeletons set to air, but there's no quad Teslas or anything, or troll Teslas in the corner. Um, we have all the Teslas pretty much in the core here. And so that with this information, let's take a look at the next person coming through, Chris, to see what he does with it. Chris with the first Town Hall 10v10 attempt on this base. 23 looms. Three wizards and three minions, three barbarians. So keep a, keep in mind the three minions, uh, as well as how he utilizes them. Spell count one heal, two rage, one jump, and three haste. That does not change um, between the uh, town hall ten attempts on this. So it does get that uh, wizard going in a little bit. Obviously, this plan for the opening was um, was uh, tweaked a little bit. Uh, and Chris decides to put the queen on the opposite end using a golem and BK to get the um, air defense as well as three archer towers while the queen by herself is going to strong arm uh, the last um, one of the air uh, the second air, air air defense down here was zooming a little bit and also this entry here ended up getting two teslas as well as the expo and the queen and as the last entry we, we, we showed uh, that actually wasn't a, vi a viable entry solution for the town hall 10 so really enjoyed this as uh, the queen does win the battle of um, that cannon encounter so the queen becomes the cleanup troop a little bit and cleans up some high hit point storages and then the hound comes over and ruins her day but he does have a barbarian in the bag here to drag that hound to a far corner because the hound only targets ground troops meanwhile still holding on to those three minions they start to combat some of those cleanup troops Starts in the loons a little bit early, and he doesn't have any on the back end for cleanup, but it does accomplish the goal uh, and ends up taking out all the defenses. But now he has all his loons at the top portion of the map, and there's a bunch of trash on the bottom that the hound busted, ended up um, lava pups, came onto the map and clean, uh, took away all his cleanup troops from the south and continued to wreck the any opportunity that he had in order to try to clean uh, achieve the three on th uh, 10 on 10 three on this base so we go to times two you can see how close this really came as these um, lava pups just to continue to work on these loons up here they're not going to make it but meanwhile he's got a couple of loons on the bottom end on this side they will continue to survive but because these lava pups are going to irritate these loons um, they're going to continue to irritate some more fast moving lava pups and unfortunately 
there is not enough time and he gets this close to uh, 10 on 10 3 leaving one structure there so let's take a look at the winning 10 v 10 attempt on this which was savage one of his two 10 on 10 threes we were on number 19 for this and that was the wrong side that would help there we go taking a look at this almost identical army we still have one heal two rage one jump but we have four minions instead of three. So really just that one extra cleanup troop um, is a difference maker in 10v10 game. So Stu, what I really enjoyed about this is that he used the one barbarian to tank one shot from that cannon so that he can drop a wizard and take away that camp for the funnel of his BK. That is a very effective use of his troops. I really appreciated that one. Um, then he goes ahead and drops down his golem same entry that we were looking at queen's gonna strong arm the bow on the bottom um entry stew kind of remains the same six bowlers behind that under a, a rage they'll basically take care of the same objectives and get the same items um pops the ability earlier this time there goes down the air defense there goes down the queen bk ability already gone hound is out and now the queen will die. Stu has a hound in the middle, and he doesn't have any ground troops to drag the hound away. So you can see that he holds four of his minions. Loon deployment Stu remains the same. But that hound's going to stay right there. Oh, it comes the la uh, Larry's. No poison for them. Going to basically... Let them lock onto some hounds and loons, and hopefully the minions will help uh, help them out some. And then he already started with one minute and 28 seconds down here on the minions, working on that trash ring from the bottom right. But this time he doesn't have to combat the um, lava pups. And then right here was a really scary moment. He has two loons for the back end. He sees that he's not going to get this down, so he decides to go ahead and drop these two loons to get into here. They take out the Infernal Tower, uh, but then takes down the last defense. Those skeletons will irritate these loons, but not before they take out some high hit point storage, which uh, only saves him some time in the long run. Meanwhile, this Hound, there's nothing there for the pops to go to, except that they will traverse once these minions, which he has a ton up top, once these minions take care of these Larrys and take care of the trash up top, um, he has minions on both sides, so if the left side, if the bottom side finished cleaning up the bottom, they'll work as they're doing right now on this very healthy hound, but by then the bottom side's already taken care of. Meanwhile, the minions on the top and the lava pups on the top are going to handily take care of the trash on the top, and this was a very, very close raid. They came down to the last few seconds in order to get that 10 on 10 3. Uh, as you can see down here was what I was talking about, those cleanup pups get stuck halfway through, but he had enough up top there in order to pull down that 3. So we'll go to times 2. Really, really nice adjustment, uh, just basically on the cleanup troops and being conscious of where that hound's going to be and if it pops or not. So hopefully you guys enjoy those talking points of the tra um, progression and tra uh, as we traverse through taking down a Town Hall 10. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double. Now we'll check you next time.